Raider Nation, here's your boy MC Raider with another video. And today it's an honor for me to have with me Harry Ruiz, the play by play announcer in Spanish for the Raiders. You can also listen to him on Deportes Vegas, 1460 AM and La Mera Mera, 980 AM in Los Angeles. He is the founder of La Nacion Raiders, and you can find him here on Instagram. I'll leave all his information here. So, Harry, thank you for joining me right now. I know you're a busy man. Just have a few questions for you as a big Raider fan. I follow you. I respect you. I admire you, all your work, and how you eventually made it to uh, work for the Raiders. Just share with the Raider Nation your experience at Allegiant Stadium and with all of the Raider fans uh, these last uh, couple of years. What's up, MC Raider? Thanks for the invite, man. I appreciate the support. Well, my experience at Allegiant Stadium every Sunday that I get to call games there is amazing. I get there super early. That way I can set up the radio equipment and just head on out to the tailgates once they open and being able to hang out with all my Raider Nation brothers and sisters. And it's just awesome. I mean, it's not the same as in Oakland because it's a completely different environment. It's a completely different city. But at the same time, all I need is the Raider Nation to have a good time and I'm able to hang out with a lot of folks I met in Oakland, a lot of folks that I met at other places, and a lot of folks I get to meet every weekend. So my experience at Allegiant Stadium is awesome. Then at the games, it's a dream come true, man. I'm a Raider fan. I'm a sports broadcaster. Been it, been a sports broadcaster for over 15 years. I called college football in the past, and it was great. But there's nothing compared to being able to call Raiders games. Bueno, Harry, y mi segunda pregunta va a ser en español, especialmente para los latinos, los mexicanos, muchos latinoamericanos que son fanáticos de los Raiders, quizás nunca han asistido a un partido de, de fútbol, pero ¿cómo te sientes tú como un latino a uh, ser parte de los Raiders, representar los Raiders? Y cuando uh, estás ahí, antes que comience los partidos, ver a tantos latinos aficionados de los Raiders, ¿cómo, cómo te sientes tú ver eso siempre en, en cada partido? No, yo me siento súper contento cada vez que veo a raza de México, a raza de Centroamérica, de Sudamérica, a nuestros hermanos de España también que nos apoyan mucho y es un honor 100% poder estar formando parte de este proyecto de los Raiders en español en las transmisiones de radio, pero también en la Nación Raider donde ahí publico información todos los días sobre el conjunto de los malosos y yo soy, tengo sangre mexicana en mis venas, mi mamá y mi papá son de México, yo nací en Los Ángeles, pero viví en México, en Torreón, Coahuila, 12 años, y sé lo importante que es la cultura de los Raiders en el país azteca, y ahora es simplemente a seguir cultivándola y a seguir dándole más a nuestros hermanos mexicanos, a nuestros hermanos centroamericanos, a nuestros hermanos sudamericanos, con el producto en español, en su idioma, pero es un honor ser latino y poder estar haciendo las transmisiones en español de los Raiders. Harry, thank you for that answer. And this is my last question. Basically, it's split in two, but uh, I want to know your expectation for next year. I know that you can't really say much, but what do you think? Uh, you think the team's going to be stronger or you think it's going to be more um, of a rebuild? You know, there's a lot of Raider fans out here asking a lot of questions. Just whatever you can, you know, say to the Raider Nation and to finish, um, What do you think about the fan base in Las Vegas? Is it starting to grow more? Do you see more fans that live in Las Vegas becoming Raider fans? Or is mainly more Oakland and LA fans that travel to Las Vegas? Because we need to get more fans in Vegas to become Raider fans so we could get that stadium filled with nothing but Raider fans. So I end with this. Harry, thank you very much. And MC Raider uh, and all the Raider Nation here on TikTok, thank you for your time. Well, I definitely expect the team to be better in 2023. It's the second year with Josh McDaniels at the helm. It's going to be his team and Dave Ziegler's team. They're going to have a full draft with all their capital in their hand. So I expect this team to definitely be better in 2023. We still have a lot of question marks on who's going to be the quarterback, on how much money they're going to pay Josh Jacobs, on who they're going to bring in to reinforce this team. So, But definitely it doesn't matter who comes in. I expect a better 
record, and I expect this team to make it to the playoffs in 2023. And your second question about the city of Las Vegas and the Raiders, I see a lot of Raider fans coming in from the Bay Area, from Southern California, from Texas, from the East Coast. This is a city that's based on tourism, and it's based on a lot of people coming in from out of town and moving here, just like me. I'm from Los Angeles. I lived in El Paso, Texas, four and a half years before coming to Vegas, and I was here before the Raiders moved here. I've been here for almost six years, and a lot of folks that move in from out of town, they always represent their teams, but the Raiders, the only way you can earn yourself the fan base and earn yourself the respect from your locals out here in Las Vegas is winning. After the 2021 season where they made it to the playoffs, there were folks that were jumping ship and that were joining the Raider Nation. That's the way you can do it. If you win games, teams, uh, fans will follow you. Look at the Golden Knights. Vegas wasn't a hockey, a hockey city, but once they won in their first year and made it all the way to the Stanley Cup, all the city was supporting them. So win and the fans will come. So that's what the Raiders got to do so far. I see more people in Vegas. I live here. I'm here every day. Even when it's not football season, I see more and more people rocking silver and black. So I hope that ends up helping the team gain more traction out here in Las Vegas. And in the future, I mean, the problem is those ticket prices in the secondary market. People are going to spend a lot of money to come and visit Las Vegas and enjoy a weekend here and finish it off with a football game. Well, who's that? The visiting fans. Can't blame them. Vegas is a great city to come and enjoy yourself a weekend in. So good thing is they're paying the stadium with all their taxes that they're spending out here with the room tax. So it has its pros. It has its cons. But the Raiders finally have a stadium that they can call home. And hopefully uh, at the end of the 2023 season, they're playing the last game there, the Super Bowl. Take care, Raider Nation. Appreciate the invite, brother. Have a nice day.